Welcome back to WBRZ News 2 at 4. Dr. Anthony Stevens is here and we're talking about smoking marijuana and the possibility of it causing gynecomastia, gynecomastia. Uh, immunization of the breast in males. Mm -hmm. And you know, I don't know, there's a lot of folklore with that, a lot of controversy whether or not marijuana really does cause feminization or increased breast size, but it certainly is out there. And most physicians believe that there is some link, and a lot of plastic surgeons believe that there's a link as well between increased breast size and smoking marijuana. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you are male, you do have problems with increased breast size, and you are smoking marijuana, it's probably best that you would stop that in order not to have increased breast size. But, you know, gynecomastia or feminization of the male breast is a, is a big problem, a common problem that we see all the time, not just in adolescent males, but also in older males. And gynecomastia can be caused by a lot of different reasons. One, marijuana that we think. There mm -hmm. is very little scientific evidence, but there are some studies that show that the increase in estrogen that it causes can have an increase in breast size. Medications such as Tagamet, some of the anti-ulcer medications, as well as some antihypertensives can also cause you know, the enlargement of breast. But we have to make a distinction between gynecomastia, which is feminization of the breast, and just increased breast size, right? right? So if you have just uh, the increase in the size of the gland, which is gynecomastia, or the overall breast size, which is, can be related to just increase in fat mm -hmm. and weight gain. And so we have to make sure that we have the correct diagnosis because there are other things that can cause masses in the breast, like breast cancer in males, although it's very rare, 1% of the time. You have to make sure that we don't have that problem as well, or other hormonal factors, endocrine problems. So first of all, diagnosis, right. and then we can go into treatment. Okay, and the reason you brought this up today is because there was a study in the New York Times. New York, well, actually it was Time Magazine. Oh, I'm that, sorry, that, Time Magazine. That, that brought the study out, and so it, it reported on the use of marijuana mm -hmm. and uh, gynecomastia, and it's a very uh, almost folklorish that, that there is a lot of scientific evidence between marijuana smoking and the relationship to gynecomastia, and it was uh, reported widely uh, about this and a lot of controversy and a lot of things back on Facebook uh, that was kind of humorous as to whether or not right. marijuana and, and gynecomastia were related at all. Right. So how often do you see this? It, it's very common. I see it in all ages. Uh, kids that are in their you know, 14 years of age, almost 70% of adolescents will have an issue with their breast. Most of it will go away with time. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing we do is we just make sure they don't have any problems uh, with endocrine disorders and then uh, allow time to settle that out. And most of it does. But men have it in later on in life and it's a big problem for them. And what we tend to do is use liposuction as a tool okay. to correct some of that increase with some of the fat around the breast as well as removing or reducing the gland, uh, which helps uh, uh, significantly uh, in that. How, I mean, what's the time period from when you start if a person is, if a patient is smoking marijuana, and, and when does it start? Well, y you see it all over, and there's very few studies that actually right. show this because it's it's an illegal substance. Of course. So, well, nowadays, you know, we're seeing it more, uh, it's illegal in some states, and so perhaps we'll see more studies. But before, we don't have a whole lot of studies that show a true relationship between two, and so we don't really know when um, smoking marijuana would affect uh, breast size. We know that it can have effects on estrogen, and the increasing in estrogen can have an increase in breast size. So I can't answer the question as to okay. time, <laughs> when it will affect Maybe you. eventually we can. Maybe, maybe you can. Thanks, Dr. Uh, Stevens, sure. for coming in. We appreciate yeah. it. You're watching WBRZ News 2 at 4. We'll be right back.